the average price for a Super Bowl ticket will be around $10,000. So let's face it, most of us won't be there, but there are still plenty of ways that locals can get involved. Before the Tropicana comes down, asbestos needs to be removed, just like what's happening here at this home in Las Vegas. These westbound lanes on the 215 Beltway, they're going to be closed down for several hours, probably six to eight additional hours. I'm Brian Horwath. Behind me is what's left of the Tropicana. I spoke to Bally's executive, Sue Kim. He told me that there's something special in store. As you can kind of see behind me, there's a lot of police activity down the street. We do hear that it's a barricade situation. We do the story every year. It's always fun, the things that people come up with. It's, it's very creative. I can't creative. believe some of the things people ask for. I mean, We are down here at the Sphere where just about an hour ago, an activist, a, a gentleman decided to climb the Sphere. I'm just going to step out here, give you guys a, a shot. This is what we're looking at right now. Looking to buy a house? Would you like to tour this property in Las Vegas on a golf course and next to a small lake? You'll need a written agreement with an agent now thanks to big changes in the way that people navigate the housing market. All right, come on, we're gonna get him outside. We asked Chris like Sasenia, whose house on the golf course has been on the market for nearly three months, her thoughts on the new rules. So it's just kind of confusing for some people, especially because it requires a lot of explanation. Buyers have to sign a buying agreement that allow the agent to represent them and know that they're on the hook for the commission if the seller doesn't give a commission in selling their property. That's Las Vegas realtor David Lee, a longtime agent who tells me the new standards won't completely change the game, but will mean agents will have more legwork. Also, agents representing home buyers are no longer allowed a blanket commission percentage, traditionally half of 5%. Instead, that agent's rate is negotiable, meaning you could pay more to sell your home. And just to walk through a house that's on the market, any potential buyer will now need a written contract with an agent. But will that limit the number of showings for the average home? No, it shouldn't. If you have an experienced realtor explaining the situation that it's the new step that has to be done, um, but it, it won't slow down anything. Been talking about buying for the last six months and then my boyfriend found this place. He's like, this is the one. This is Brianne Clisby, who recently bought a home in Henderson. She's aware of the new rules for realtors and buyers and sellers, but she doesn't think they make or break the process. I feel like it's all your determination. If you want a house, this is another step. Because the buyer's usually reaching to get the most they can for their home, so they don't want another added commission to their bottom line. For Clisby, she doesn't feel like a motivated buyer will be deterred. So we were like, we need a home, we want to raise our family. It is what it is. The realtor we talked to says the changes might make it more difficult for new agents to break into the industry. Why? Well, they'll make things more complicated, which could push more buyers and sellers to do business with a more experienced agent. Reporting from the Northwest, I'm Brian Horwath. Every year, the state of Nevada rejects hundreds of personalized plate applications, sometimes because they're deemed offensive, other times because they're, well, just plain confusing for law enforcement. Now, earlier today, I went around town to get people's reactions to a list of our top 20 DMV rejects. <laughs> is, is this a joke? No, no that's real. Funny. Really? Tanya and Josh Richard, visiting Las Vegas from Texas, got a kick out of this rejected vanity plate contender. According to the state of Nevada, that could mean, yep, a tiny man part. And that's too vulgar to have on a tag, says Nevada Department of Motor Vehicles. Then there's UGHHHHH, which was turned down because it could cause a multi-letter mess for police with all its many H's. These young men weren't sure about that one. Oh, uh, <laughs> <it's> confusing. <laughs> If law enforcement is getting confused by that, they need better training. Las Vegas mother and daughter tandem Christina Horton and Jessina Pardita got a kick out of the rejected plate, Ugg for Life. They thought it was about the popular winter boots, but the state said it's got gang slang and could mean thug for life. UG for life? No. I agree with all that of them. That could be Uggs for life. You no, love Uggs. nobody has. No. <laughs> Christina's protective motherly instincts seemed to come to the surface. She thought the state made the right choice on every plate on our list. They're all terrible. None of them should have been approved. They're, they're, they're right. Jessina liked the creativity on Booty, though the state decided to shake that one off.
And how about no Cali? The DMV said no dice because it promotes hatred toward Californians. From what he saw on our list, Will Lopez thinks the state is taking it a bit too far. I feel like all these aren't bad. I feel like it's an infringement on free speech. As for the DMV, state law requires them to keep license plate communications obscenity and crime free. For Horton, she might not approve the more obscene vanity plates, but she does appreciate a good personalized plate. On her Audi, O-W-T-E-E -E is what you'll see when she's Audi and abouty. It's not a new problem, but if you're traveling to or from California this weekend, you're aware of a 48-hour backup on the I-15. We wanted to find out if there's a fix, and if so, how soon we could get it. It's catastrophic, in my opinion. This is Las Vegas that. Mayor Carolyn Goodman, long an advocate of the widening of the I-15 between L.A. and Las Vegas. She tells me she's alarmed by what we all saw over the weekend stalled cars and trucks as far as the eye could see, all while a dangerous lithium battery burned after a tractor trailer tipped over. She says not only did the delays cause Las Vegas to lose tourism dollars, it also put the clamps on a main commerce and freight thoroughfare out of Southern California. Mayor Goodman, as she has for years, didn't mince words. What's your message to the officials in California from the governor on, on down, what's your message? Same message I've been saying for all these years. It's time now, take care of Barstow to State Line, Nevada. Do what you should have done a long time ago and put it out there as the priority. Goodman isn't the only local elected leader calling for change. I'm a senior member of Transportation and Infrastructure. Congresswoman so Dina Titus tells Channel 13 it's also about safety on our roads. I think we need to look at regulation of trucks carrying hazardous material and put lithium maybe in that category. Each year, about $95 billion worth of commerce is transported on the I-15. Reporting from just outside Las Vegas, I'm Brian Horwath.